is a beautiful Good Friday morning and I'm standing here at the foot of the cross just outside the parish church. On Good Friday we love as a people to be able to come to the church and to venerate either by touching or kissing the cross we find there a comfort, a consolation. We bring our worries, our fears, our own personal suffering and unite them with that of Christ Jesus. It is so difficult this year not to be able to do that. And we may well feel maybe weary of the restrictions. We may feel anxious and fearful. Indeed, in this beautiful weather, when we'd love to have our freedom, we may well feel inconvenienced. I am here holding a crucifix from my own home here on the Salins Road. And I am thinking particularly today in what families tell us at the moment, that when it comes to maybe their mom or their dad, a husband or a wife, maybe in hospital, that they cannot visit that loved one. Indeed, in their hour of need, they cannot even hold or maybe kiss on the forehead that family member. And that is really tough. And so as I hold this cross today, and I think of them, I also think of those who are in prison at this time, and those families who can't go to visit maybe a family member that is in prison. And as I am holding this cross, I'm inviting you today, maybe if you have a cross at home, maybe take it down, hold it today, maybe at three o'clock or place it somewhere in your home, if you're able to join us for our ceremony on the radio or on the webcam. And just as I hold this cross, as I hold Jesus, perhaps we can hold each other in prayer. In fact, maybe we can hold those families that we are thinking of and praying for today and bring them to the Lord, praying, ask, asking the Lord to give them that strength, that blessing today on this Good Friday.